Nature and ecosystems have always been central to human existence. But increasingly due to our own actions, disasters are on the rise. Kerala in the southernmost tip of India is hailed as God's own country with its rich biodiversity, moderate climate and advanced human development indicators. However, in August 2018, the ecologically fragile state was battered by a once-in-a-century flooding event that brought life to a standstill. More than 430 lives were lost and 1.4 million people were displaced. The flood became a watershed event with a strong urge from government and civil society alike to use the opportunity to build back better. One of the main thrusts in these actions was on nature-based solutions and particularly ecosystem-based disaster risk reduction or ECODRR. Thus was born a partnership between the United Nations Environment Programme and the Kerala Institute of Local Administration to work towards upscaling community resilience through ecosystem-based disaster risk reduction on the ground in Kerala and subsequently India. EcoDRR in Kerala is important especially as it promotes the three elements of disaster risk reduction, climate smart livelihoods and ecosystem restoration. In Kerala, the main activities involved working with the local governments to embed the EcoDRR approach in their Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme and the Ayankali Urban Employment Guarantee Scheme. Participatory capacity building activities for a wide range of relevant actors for better mainstreaming of the EcoDRR approach, production of knowledge products, and an online training module. Similar activities were carried out in the states of Odisha and Karnataka with the support of sister institutions and their knowledge partners. The project had a wide range of direct benefits. In Kerala, over 300 local government representatives, around 800 officials, engineers, work supervisors and eco-DRR practitioners, 300 agriculturalists in the vulnerable region of Kutunad, 80 nursery growers were trained on the relevance of eco-DRR and different techniques. Across the country, over 150 master trainers and 200 private sector actors were trained on various applications of the eco-DRR approach. Additionally, the EcoDRR approach was embedded in the Kerala State Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme Planning Guidelines of 2022-23 and in the Local Level Disaster Management Plan Guidelines of Kerala. The indirect benefits were increased resilience to disasters such as drought, flooding, landslides, coastal erosion and forest fire, and over one-third of the local governments in Kerala incorporated the EcoDRR approach in their local level disaster management plans. This also benefited over 10 million people directly and indirectly in the first year alone. Under this project, we have been working since 2020 towards the main objectives of increasing our combined resilience restoring our landscapes and building partnerships across settings for ensuring continued action. And as we move forward, let us work together with Mother Nature, our greatest ally and our greatest fortress. <laughs>